The Pro Art family from ASUS has been known to support uh, creators, graphics artists, or just anyone looking to uh, find a reliable solution to support their workflow. So if you need a display that's rich in colors, and if you need the performance to back up your workflow, ASUS has some really solid solutions. And so at Computex, they're announcing three products to fulfill their portfolio. Uh, we have a super compact 13-inch tablet featuring the new Qualcomm X-Series CPU. Uh, we've also got the PX13 laptop, which is a fairly thin and light 13-inch laptop uh, with really good performance. And then we have a really faster and more powerful P16, uh, which is geared towards people like me who just wants to get a lot of video editing and things like that. And these designs are very simple, nothing gamery. You know, it's again, it's, a, it's strictly geared towards professional. So excited to partner with ASUS to showcase uh, what these new uh, devices bring to the table. So let's kick this off with the ProArt PZ13. This is a 13-inch Windows tablet that uh, is meant to sort of complement the Surface Pro line from Microsoft, but it offers a lot more protection or durability because uh, it features IP52 uh, water resistance, uh, which is a really nice thing to have if you're planning on taking this thing in more complex running gun situations. Uh, it's also a very thin tablet. This thing only weighs around 800 grams and it's nine millimeters thin, which is super portable and super compact. The chassis is constructed out of CNC milled aluminum and you don't get any fancy RGB lighting or anything like that. Uh, it's a very simple design. The only thing it lacked was a built-in kickstand, although ASUS did bundle this thing with a case that features a kickstand. So it does magnetically attach to the bottom of the, of the tablet and uh, you can just use it to adjust it at any angle. I'm not 100% sure about how this thing would hold up over long term, but uh, it is something that's a little bit different from the Surface uh, tablets. The port situation is pretty limited on this tablet because of its thin form factor, which is understandable. So you only get two USB 4 ports and a micro SD card reader. Now the USB 4 ports are actually tucked away uh, into this silicon uh, cover, which is there to protect it from you know, water and rain and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that definitely adds to the durability aspect that I alluded to earlier. Now in terms of specs, this is probably the most interesting part about this tablet because it's going to feature Qualcomm's latest X-Series CPU rated for 20 watts, which is fair considering uh, the size of this tablet. And it's going to feature a single fan to cool that chip. So you can definitely expect this to be an interesting uh, device because it is Windows on ARM. It is an interesting solution for creators. And I'm actually curious to test out all the creator focus apps for this particular uh, platform. Uh, and you have 60 gigabytes of LPDDR5X memory, which is running at crazy speeds, close to 8,448 megahertz. And in terms of storage, this thing can be configured with up to a terabyte of PCI Gen 4 SSD, which for my conversations with ASUS is technically accessible. Uh, it's not easily user accessible, but in the event of an accident, uh, you know, you do have the ability to access it to retrieve uh, the data. And despite this tablet being only nine millimeters thin, ASUS still managed to give it a really big 70 watt hour battery. So you can really expect it to perform really well, again, paired with the efficiencies that Qualcomm is claiming with their X Plus platform. Uh, and you also have fast uh, the charging with the USB-C port. So certainly a very interesting combination. And the display on this is also, again, pro art levels of really good stuff. So you have a 13.3 inch 16 by 10 3K Lumina OLED display, uh, which gives you 100% DCI-P3 coverage. And uh, it's also Pantone certified out of the box. The SDR brightness performance on this is expected to be around 400 nits, which is again, for an OLED panel, makes sense. There are also a few other perks included with the PZ13. So a 13 megapixel rear facing camera and a five megapixel front facing camera, which is 1080p and it supports Windows Hello. And you also get Wi-Fi 7, Dolby Atmos uh, built-in speakers. And you also get a bunch of other accessories bundled with this setup. So the first thing is, of course, you get a backpack to carry this thing around. And uh, the cover stand, as I mentioned earlier, which has the kickstand functionality, the stylus and the keyboard, uh, which is just an accessory that attaches to the tablet via pogo pins. It's got really good feedback with the keys and the trackpad itself is nice and smooth because it is precision glass. So ultimately you're getting a really interesting package, which from my understanding only starts from around $899 to $1,000. So I feel like you're getting a lot for uh, the money here. So yeah, that's basically the PZ13 uh, from ASUS. It's their first uh, tablet with the Qualcomm X series CPU. So I'm really excited to test that out. Now we're going to move on to the ProArt PX13. Now this was actually 
an inspiration that was based off the ROG Flow series. You're gonna see a lot of similarities in terms of the design. They've definitely cut down a lot of the sort of gamery aesthetics that you get from the Flow series. For starters, this thing only weighs around 1.3 kilos and it's only 15.8 millimeters thin. And the whole chassis is constructed out of CNC milled aluminum uh, and that build quality translates towards the interior space as well. Now in terms of specs, the PX13 is gonna feature AMD's latest Strix Point CPUs. Uh, now if you've missed the announcements from AMD, these things are heavily focused on AI. Uh, and of course you get a little bit of boost in terms of performance compared to the previous generation. But I guess the big highlight is of course the built-in NPU that features up to 45 tops. And uh, it is a 70 watt CPU. Uh, and you're also getting it paired with a 4050, 4060, or 4070 from NVIDIA, which can support up to 95 watts of TGP. So it's a really interesting combination. And you also have that paired with uh, up to 32 gigabytes of RAM and a two terabyte SSD. So in terms of specs, this thing is pretty beefed up considering its size. And we look at the display, it's essentially the same 13 inch display that you're gonna see from the PZ13 that we looked at earlier. And the last thing to cover here is the port situation. And considering the size, I'm actually surprised at the amount of ports that ASUS has implemented on the PX13. So we have one USB 3.2 type A, two USB 4 type C ports, an audio jack, a micro SD card, which is UHS-2 compliant, and an HDMI 2.0 port, along with the uh, dedicated power uh, adapter, or the slim power jack that's reversible, which was introduced with the ROG um, Zephyrus lineup earlier this year. The keyboard on the PX13 feels very similar to the Flow series, but they've also paired this thing with a really large trackpad, which is positioned glass, and you also get the ASUS dial pad, which is integrated onto the top left-hand corner of the trackpad. Now this is sort of like a derivative from the, the dedicated dial pad that we saw with the Studio Book series, but now it's integrated into the trackpad, and this pairs with the Pro Hard Hub, and it can be used to customize all sorts of control or adjustments uh, for applications like Photoshop, Lightroom, where you need to adjust the hue, the contrast, the saturation. It can also be used to adjust the volume levels uh, or the brightness levels on the display. Again, you can take customization to a whole new level by just fine tuning all of that stuff within the Pro Hard Creator Hub, which is a dedicated piece of application installed, pre-installed uh, on the laptop. Moving on, we have the ProArt P16. Now, the best way to describe this laptop is it's sort of like a creative version of the RG Zephyrus G16. So you're getting a lot of the portability advancements from that chassis brought into this design. So the first thing is, of course, it's 14.9 millimeters thin and it only weighs around 1.8 kilos. Super slim for a 16 inch laptop. And the design is very simple. You're not getting any fancy strip RGB lighting. It's a simple, plain matte black chassis on the front, which translates to the interior space. Uh, and it's just an all-around super stealth design uh, from uh, the Pro Art family. When you look at the interior space, the first thing that caught my attention was the font style on the Geek House. It looks a lot more cleaner, a lot more elegant compared to the G16. Uh, this thing just stole my attention right away and I love that transition. It's just a really clean look. Uh, and when you look at the display, Asus did take a step back because this one is strictly catered towards creators who value color accuracy. It's not the fastest, it doesn't feature 240 hertz refreshes or anything like that. So it's a 16 inch, 16 by 10, 4K Lumina OLED display with 60 hertz refresh rate and the peak SGA performance is expected to be around 500 nits. It's also Pantone certified out of the box. So that means you're gonna get 100% DCI-P3 uh, color gamut coverage. And uh, visually, it's just an awesome display. I've just spent a couple hours playing around with it and um, it's really an awesome panel to work with. I think as a creator, if you value color accuracy, um, I think this thing certainly delivers. Switching over to the port setup, it's very similar to the RG Zephyrus G16. So you get the slim power jack, uh, HDMI 2.1, USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C, another USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A, and an audio jack. When you switch over to the right-hand side, you get another Type-C port, another USB Type-A port, and a UHS Express card reader. Supposedly this is actually faster, a lot faster, than the UHS 2 uh, card readers that we see on some of the other laptops. So. They've definitely catered this thing and built this thing solely for creators, which is what it should be. Now, just like the PX13, the P16 comes with a dial pad integrated in the trackpad. So this can be mapped to all sorts of applications, creative focus applications to get all sorts of adjustments dialed in. So that's kind of neat. And the last thing to talk about here is specs. So this will feature AMD's Strix Point CPUs. Uh, and there are, uh, again, very similar in terms of performance or power performance to the PX13. So uh, the CPU itself is rated for 70 watts, and the GPU is gonna get a slight boost, so you can configure this with up to 4050, 4060, 
or an RTX 4070 with up to 105 watts of TGP, so slightly higher compared to the PX13 that I talked about earlier. Now, in terms of storage and memory, I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this, but Strix Point CPUs officially don't support upgradable memory. So in this case, you can configure the ProArt P16 to up to 64 gigabytes of RAM and up to four terabytes of SSD storage, which is, you know, a sizable amount of, you know, specs that you can get for a creator-focused laptop. But uh, yeah, it doesn't feature upgradable memory. I know it kind of sucks, but uh, the fact that at least you have the ability to configure it up to 64 gigs is kind of neat. So that's the Pro Art announcements from ASUS for Computex 2024. Let me know what you guys think about uh, the P16, the PX13, and definitely the PZ13. I'm actually more curious to test out the PZ13 just because of the Qualcomm X Plus CPU. It's certainly an interesting uh, device. Um, Windows and ARM is definitely going to be an interesting conversation for the rest of 2024. So stay tuned for more content. I'm Ibar with Hardware Connects. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.